Look, look at him, look at him. Shake house What do you reckon? Should we go to a game like this? I'm here now in Dubai. Snazzy shirts, D. Yeah, it's pretty fly, isn't it? Anyway, here in Dubai, just waiting for Patrice to turn up. Got a wicked video that we're doing with Patrice and Rio, talking about everything that is going on in the World Cup. Very excited for it. Actually can't wait um, to see Patrice. It's been like five years, I think it is, since I last saw him in person. Excited, man, can't wait. One of the liveliest, ex-United players that it's possible to, to have to speak to, isn't it? So very, very excited, think it's gonna be a fucking wicked video. And we're doing this like four times over the course of the World Cup. So definitely something to look forward to. And then I've got a whole afternoon in Dubai with nothing to do. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know, still not coming on Friday, it's with me. It's more important to be with me than you. So don't be jealous, I just want to share. <laughs> All right, Uncle Pat done. I had to record some other videos, send a load of files over, and unfortunately that's, I mean, it's only like half three, but it's winter, isn't it? So the sun is actually going down as absolutely beautiful as this weather is. I've missed it. <laughs> Spent a day inside in aircon. Pretty disappointed at that, but it is what it is. Can't complain too much. I'm gonna go and hang out see what I can see. My flight is around midnight, so I've got a few hours to kill. I'm gonna check out my room, go get something to eat. See if I can see a little bit of Dubai. I think I'm back in a week or so. so hopefully I'll get to see a bit more then. Just come for a pizza with my friend Khaled. Say hello, Khaled. Hi. Khaled has brought me, I'm gonna let you explain because I'm gonna kill the pronunciation, but okay. what we got? So, in this region, the UAE, Saudi, Bahrain, the GCC, all the Arab countries, they will say it. In the winter, we go a bit darker because of the weather gets a bit cooler. Not as cold as Manchester, but... Or rainy. Yeah, or rainy. <laughs> this is called the Ghitra. This is the, the winter Ghitra. This is like the same I have. This headscarf. The headscarf. We call it the Ghitra. I know. I know, you, I, know, I know you with the pronunciation. So that's uh, put that on your head. This is the agal, the black stuff. That's the ring. Yeah. Well, I had to guess your size, by the way. So, so, so sorry. <laughs> a man's got a big head. This might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got you the Kandoras, the Emirati Kandoras. These are the, the region colors, or the, 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 the winter colors. But you can wear them in summer because you can feel that. Feels good. It's similar to this. It's easy to wear, and this is like, and I, I don't have one, this is like a tie for All right. Button. It just clips up? Yep, just clips up. And you have the blue one, and I got you the traditional, it's, um, it's a gazelle leather. Gazelle leather. Steven Bindhausen. <laughs> <laughs> Khaled, thank you, this is awesome. I'm gonna My have to rock it. I'm gonna have to rock it. This one's got that. Just, uh, Sensational. Landed. I am fogged. Hey, look, look at him, look at him. Shake Housen. Mm. What an earth. Shake Housen. Oh, come on my. now. Look at the kicks. Come on now. Look what are Come on, those. Man. We're going to get on this. Argentinian course. It's still got the tags on it and all sorts. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus. Oh my gosh. It's got a brown one now. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for real though. I don't know what they're laughing at. I look fresh as fuck. What do you reckon? Should we go to a game like this? <sighs> Jesus, it's hot. Might be too hot. <laughs> Jim done by the pool and uh look who's turned up. Hi! What have you gotta to do today? I am on Uruguay, South Korea. 
I'm, um, I'm going to that game. To talk all things strikers. Right now I'm getting a bit of sun. I'm going to try and hit the gym. I'm sick of looking at his shoulders. Show me the socks. Thoughts on them? <laughs> Watch us. <laughs> Thoughts on them? <laughs> Bad boys. Me and Ash like a boonie. I like a bucket hat. I've got this one for Ash. Wow. This is a hell of a boonie. This is perfect in this weather. This is a coaching boonie. This is the one that you want to be standing on the sideline with a string up. Ah. Uh, so, day to day gets worn like that, right? When you mean business with about whatever it is, coaching, whatever, up. If you see it up in there, <laughs> if you see me and Steve with that right up, as the tighter it gets, the more wound up we're getting. What's going on? <laughs> Agitated in there. But if you see us like this, approach, it's fine. That's a, that's a top tier hat, that is. That's a top, and that's a top tier friend for bringing me a present and hat. Oh, it's all right, he's got another present here as well. Because can you believe former Wales captain didn't even pack? I just didn't have one then, I didn't have one. Wales, Wales. I'm kitted out right now. <laughs> so I got, myself, I got myself one as well. Basically every, every, I didn't get a Spain one because I didn't have my size, but a Belgian one. But every single other shirt I was in the shop I got. But as long as you get the Wales one, mate, that's what really matters. Yo, me, Ronnie, off to the game. Can I just get a second, though? Alf, honestly. He's a kick. What a shirt, kick, man. Kick, kick collector virgin. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to go watch Uruguay Korea, which is an unreal set of kits. And I ain't got either of them, but I'm going to try. Uber's here anyway, so let's go to the game. Okay, we are in. Ronnie, it is hot as balls. It is it? absolutely baking, and I'm here with a vest underneath. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a wind chill normally on the other days, but today I'm sweating. White shirt, armpit sweat. Gonna be embarrassing. It's taking a piss out of wearing a shirt. We've got the player issue one as well, so it's aerated. And it needs to be because it is so fucking hot. Honestly. In we go though. Uh, Uruguay fans are having it. for an hour and 20. We fucked up here, you know. Oh shit, out of the way. Do you know what we did? We got the Uber, but all the roads are closed around us, innit? So we're like, nah, oh, I don't know why get her, get her dead, dead early. <laughs> no, no, but I thought it's 21 minute drive in normal circumstances. When there's a game on, then it's 20 minutes. Now, I got something though, which I didn't think we'd be getting that much. And I was thinking, shall we just get on it? It's Budweiser Zero though, so I'm not sure I want it you getting. You know what I mean? But uh, can I show you how close we are to the pitch though? Because it's absolutely banging. Oh yeah. So what we're looking for on the here is Kim Min Jae go right for the fucking back of Suarez, right? Yeah, That's yeah. what we're after, yeah? Looking for him absolutely. Fucking oh, absolutely kill him, yeah. So when I was sitting here, I'm trying to think, we've got Palestri playing, he's on our side here, right now. Right there. And I'm thinking like, who do we want to win this game? And the more I think about it, the more I'm just absolutely career as fuck. I like the human son, I think he's an absolute baller. And we like Kim. We want to fucking replace Maguire with him. Yeah, career, let's go. Anytime Sun gets the ball, it's just like something's happened. Nothing's happened, but it's like something's happened. Everyone around us just losing their shit. Like five minutes gone, all Korea in a minute, isn't it? The only thing Uruguay have got is when it's with the keeper, they're pressing the shit out of them. They haven't really got many places to go. The game is being played in that half of the minute in a big way. I can't lie, right? I'm absolutely well disappointed with um, the fans in the end we're in, shall I say. All just sat in, sitting down, yeah. Got that lot in there, Korean fans absolutely having it. I might try and get in that end at half time. It'd be worth it, wouldn't it? I think it'd be worth it. I think we're, gonna, we're definitely going to try that. Me and Ronnie 
literally just been saying how this game is like a higher level version of a panic game. All the possession, all the tech is with the Korean team. But then, I mean, Goddy's just hit a post uh, from a corner. But the go zonal at the corner, it's clearing the corner now. The go zonal at the corner, you're like, shit man, Nunes, Valverde, you're like, they could easily open them up here, undeserved. And then they, it's just hit the inside They're of the post. They're a much bigger team in Korea. They just hit the inside of the post. Korea more technical. What the fuck? It's literally a panic game. Go 1 0 down to a corner and sit there going, how the fuck are we losing this game? But there hasn't been a lot of penetration. They've dominated, but. I mean, there's been a couple of shots happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. I haven't. Get him in a fucking career. Ed. We haven't used this media pass for a damn thing yet. But we're about to. This might be hilarious. Hey, we made it, but it's, there's not a lot of room to stick around in here. I'm asking Johnson to send me some Korean to help me on borrowed time. We'll, we'll do what we can, lads. <laughs> oh, we made a good choice. Let's go. technical South Korea are. Uh, I think they could have nicked something in the first half. I worried for him at set pieces, but the fans were immense. Might apply for dual citizenship. Shot the game that me and Steve go to is nil nil though. For fuck's sake. You enjoy the train running? Nightmare. Trains are pretty busy. The problem we've got is our gaff is in Lusail. That's a stadium state. I've heard of that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and that's where Brazil Serbia are playing in three hours' time, which means it might look like this for us getting all the way up to our stadium, and then we've got to fight through everyone trying to get into the stadium. And when you get off the train, they don't really like you coming away from the direction into the stadium, which means they'll argue with you as you're trying to fuck off and get on the road and they're trying to funnel everyone into the stadium. A little bit of a ball bust. Just a quick one before I go. If you would like to get your hands on some very, very special Paddock FC merch, we have got two pieces that are complete limited edition. And when I say limited edition, I don't think I can stress just how limited edition they are, and they're absolutely mega. They're, they're so fresh, I haven't even got my own yet. I've got some saved for myself, don't worry. But they're, they're super, super limited edition. They will be the only ones that we do. It's a Paddock and Puma collaboration, totally custom stuff just for us. So if you want your hands on them, they are very, very limited. There's literally like a handful in each size. So don't delay. If you want to get your hands on them, they look mega. Um, check the link in the description.
Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.